I think the major factor initially would be colostrum intake as well as colostrum quality. So there's been a lot of studies recently that have looked at how feeding quantity as well as the quality of colostrum can impact the gut microbiota as well as the gut development of a calf. So that's all happening in the first week of life. But after the first week of life, I would say that it's a level of nutrition or what we call the plane of nutrition that can have a large impact on the overall gut development. When we're feeding a more elevated plane of nutrition pre-weaning, we're not going to get as much rumen development because we're not going to be you know, compromising overall dry feed intake. So that's uh, one, those are two major factors that will be influencing gut development during the pre-weaning period. There's a lot going on with respect to the overall nutrition that we're giving them, but also the biology of the calf. And some research studies have shown that there's something going on within the gut of a calf between, in particular, six to eight weeks. And these genes are being turned on, in particular in the rumen. So that's why I think it's to our advantage to wean later if we're going to be feeding an elevated plane of nutrition. And obviously the abruptness of the weaning strategy can have a large impact on the overall gut. Uh, and if you can have a more gradual step down, uh, at least two weeks, I think, and weaning later, I think that uh, we can solve a lot of the issues that come from weaning when we're feeding elevated planes of nutrition pre-weaning, so more milk pre-weaning.